Um, so in this example, I'm using Drip as the trigger app, but you could do this just as well with Thrivecart. So basically, anytime you get a new sale in Thrivecart, you're going to uh, make that the trigger, right? And then I have a filter here that says only continue if, um, and in my case, it's a tag. So you can create a filter here for the specific product because you, you can actually even personalize the, uh, the email based on product, right? And then I set a delay and I do this just for effect basically in this case, but you probably wouldn't need to do this for your use case. You'd probably want it to be immediate. Um, and then you have your action app, which is Gmail. And all you're doing here in this step is you're sending it to, and you're going to use the, the uh, Thrivecart email address that's provided. Then you, for the subject, I put question, because again, this is just a way of um, connecting with subscribers. But in your case, it'll probably say something else, right? Body type is plain. Then in the body, I'm saying, hey, the name of the, um, the first name of the subscriber, in your case, the first name of the buyer, if you're collecting that information. And you can see here that whatever data Thrivecart passed, or in my case, Drip, you'll be able to grab that data and insert it dynamically into your email. All right, so basically, you'd say something like, hey, John, thanks so much for purchasing XYZ. Um, listen, I just wanted to send you a personal email and and personally attach the thing. Obviously, it's not personal. It's automated, but uh, it looks personal. And then here in the attachments um, section, you can either put a URL, which could be the expiring Dropbox URL, or you can just add an attachment. And what I like to do, um, this is just a little hack that I learned, is if you put a Google Drive link somewhere in your email, when you open, when the person op opens it up in their email address uh, inbox, um, it's going to have like a little attachment thing that makes it stand out more. So that's just a cool little trick that I figured out. Um, and then you just test it, make sure it works, and and that's that. So 